guy. Okay, so if anyone wants to be famous, you can say your name right now. Kevin. Stephanie <laughs> Tig. <laughs> My, what a manly voice you have, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that, how well that'll show up on YouTube, but I'll try to post it after school so you can uh, check it out. Um, hopefully they don't boot us off because we go over the uh, down or uh, over the uh, the bandwidth limits. <laughs> but uh, okay, so today we're going to start by looking at some differential equations, and we're not quite going to uh, solve them. We're going to actually just figure out the strategy which is separating uh, our variables. So for calculus in this level, that's about the extent of our toolbox. Um, if we can't separate the variables to solve a differential equation then we pretty much are stuck. Uh, we'd have to wait until we do other courses on differential equations, which there are many. So some of you lucky uh, engineers will be tortured by them for a while. But for now, um, we're just going to try separating. So for example, um, if this was me, and I was doing this question, I would want to move my x's to one side so I could separate the variables so I don't have uh, anything that conflicts or mixes, I have just x's on one side, just y's on the other um, in this form. And at this point, we could go and integrate both sides, right? But we're going to stop here. We just want to see if we can do this part of the technique, which is to um, get ourselves separated. X is one side, y is the other. So see how you do with these next two here. Um, and I'll just pause it while you guys have a minute to, to try separating those. Okay, so we'll see how uh, you did with that first one there. Uh, again, I like to use Leibniz notation, so I would take the extra time to rewrite this. And um, I can just move, this is in terms of x, my sine x. So if I move that over, okay, now I have something that looks starting to look close to what you had before. Um, I would finish this question off as dy equals um, cotangent x dx. And this is the point where I could put my integrals in and, and actually solve that equation. But again, we just want to get them set up today. Okay, so the next one, same thing. Uh, I would start by switching that so that I know where... Uh, going to be moving things. So it's going to be times x over e to the y plus 1 equals 2. And now uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of this x here on top and I'd like to move dx over to the other side. So if I do that, so x goes down here and dx comes up. And that's where I'd be separated my variables. Okay, any questions so far on separation? Good. Okay, so we're going to actually try one now. And uh, we'll go right from start to finish. Um, find the general solution, which means there will be a constant in your answer. So see how this one goes. See if you can separate your variables, take the integral, and uh, come up with the general solution. Okay. So uh, I know some of you are probably still doing this one, but uh, I'll catch up to you while you're still working. So on this one, um, I've got this x plus 4 on this side here that I'd like to move. And I've also got a y over here that I'd like to move. So if I move the y over, then the first thing, now my y's are on one side. And to get the x's on the other side, that means I'm going to have x over x squared plus 4, and then dx comes up. So here's my separation. Uh, hopefully everybody's okay getting them separated. Here's the point where we're going to take the integral. So at this point, we'd say, let's integrate both sides. And if we do integrate, left side is not so bad. What do you, what do you get for the left side? Yeah, natural log, that's right. So natural log y. And, um, hmm. Well, um, I think one thing I'd want to put in here, I could change this. Now it looks a little bit more like we're ready to do some uh, integration. 
Um, can I just see how many people would be okay to integrate this as is right now? Okay, how many people want to use substitution to do this? <laughs> how many people didn't vote? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'll make you suffer through the long road, which is substitution then. Um, for those of you who didn't speak up, I'll assume that we can do this. Um, let u equal to x squared plus 4. Um, du equals 2x dx. And now when I make my substitution in this integral, it's going to be 1 half. So the bottom will be 1 over u. And uh, it'll be 2x dx. That's what I have here. So that's my du. So this will be 1 half the natural log of u, uh, which is 1 half the natural log of x squared plus 4. And a constant is out there. So I'm running out of room a little bit here. So I'm going to move up to here. Um, besides this math class, things should be confusing. So I'll jump all over the place on this one. Um, now we have this natural log y. This is what we've ended up with. Natural log y equals 1 half uh, natural log x squared plus 4 plus my constant. OK, so at this point, even if you're kind of like, I don't know what to do with these logs here or, or how to combine them, um, there's several ways to do this. I'm just going to take the leap of faith approach, which is I don't know exactly how it's going to simplify, but I'm going to do what we've done in all our other questions. So the first thing we would have done is we would have ignored how bad the right side looks, and we would have just said, let's solve for y. So e to the 1 half natural log x squared plus 4 plus some constant equals to y. Okay, so one log disappeared. And then we've talked about this, that constant it becomes a constant in the front through the exponent laws. And what else could I do to simplify? There's a couple more things I can do here. One of them, the first one I think I would do, has to do with the log laws. Good. So the half that's in front here can be applied as an exponent. So what's the exponent for a half? Square root. Yep. So it's going to be c e to the natural log of the square root of x squared plus 4 equals to y. And there's one more simplification you can make. Even Math 12s can make this one. Well, maybe. If they see it, yeah. <laughs> we did this one, though. We practiced this one. Yeah, this is exponent to the log. It's a function, and it's inverse, so they cancel out. This would just become... Uh, y equals c root x squared plus 4. Okay, so that's how we would write the general solution to this one. 